Hello everybody and welcome back to another one of my videos. Today I'm just going to be doing a general garden update and some harvesting of some of my things what I need to get out. So I hope you all enjoy this one. Right, I'm going to show you some of my flowers that have bloomed before I do anything else. These are my lilies. You can see they're looking nice. These are my some of my geraniums, my other petunias. These are some nice flowers here. Don't know what these ones are called. You can see my pumpkin flowers down there there's some more of them, a nice bunch of them there some more flowers down there you can see my petunias my lilies these are my carnations and these are my begonias and some pansies I think I showed you these in my last video these are starting to flower out now The back there is my rhododendrons. So those are just some of my flowers that's come out. And I thought I'd just show you some of those first. And I'm just do, be doing some harvesting. I'll be back with you. Right, so I've started harvesting because I couldn't get to them. Then my cameraman's arms are longer than mine. So I've got some tomatoes there that I'm going to be having later. I've just tasted one of these yellow ones and they're really sweet, but I don't want to start eating them. I ate one, but now I'm going to eat another one. So I'm over here, I've got my broccoli, so I'm going to have these for my dinner later. So I don't know if these come back again. You can see there's a nice healthy head of broccoli but I don't know if they come back but I'm going to leave them I'm going to have these for my dinner later so before they go to flower I think I better just cut these off and use them so you can see there's some nice healthy bunches Peas and that. Just going to leave that in. Right. So that's my broccoli for later. I'm going to leave those in. I don't know if they'll come back again. You can see I've got some French beans there. But going to leave them for another couple of days you can use them when they're that short but then I would have to be freezing them before I can be using them so I'm just gonna give them a couple of days right I'm just looking down here and I can see some cool bits so 
I'm just going to get these ones off. I think I've left them a bit long on there, but they can just still be used. So, there's quite a few, few on this one, but they're all short. I'll put those off afterwards. So those are my um, cool jets. And I don't need no onions at the moment. So meanwhile, when I'm harvesting, I'm always checking my leaves and things. And I can see on this coval arbery, it's getting some kind of leaf disease so I'm just going to take those ones off you know me already I don't like seeing things like this so underneath you can see that there's some kind of eggs of some some kind like some little miniature caterpillars so that's telling me that those butterflies have, have laid their eggs so I'm going to deal with those right now. Here I've got some um, bug clear, which is for aphids, caterpillar, white fly, meaty bug and red spider mite. They used to sell this in the shops, but I haven't seen it, so I had to order this online. So that's why these um, things have caught me. So you can see the eggs underneath leaves so that's what you've got to look for because I had a lot of white butterflies flying around and I didn't realize that they've laid their eggs now so I'm gonna give those a, a spritz that's what you're always looking for constantly when these things start to lay their eggs then you've got to try and keep on top of it and cabbages and brassicas are the main one that they lay their eggs on so I'm going to give these a spritz now that I've cut them so hopefully that will keep the butterflies at bay Right. So, when you're in your garden, you just gotta keep constantly checking stuff, making sure that all your plants are looking healthy, especially when they're in containers. So, I'm gonna be watering in a minute. So, let's put this there. I've got my cool jets down here, which is a green one. You can see some cool jets on there. there. Uh, but these leaves are, are yellowing, so I'm going to get these leaves off. Any leaves that I'll see, what I don't like, I always take them off. I mean, it makes more air into the plant. Some people just leave them on and that but I just prefer to take them off as I see them looking a bit diseased so we've got a couple of yellowing ones down here anything what I don't like the look of comes out right, and as you can see on this one I've cut the top off of this one the small cucumber I'll leave that one this one is still got a bit of a way to go but you can see it's got the little pumpkins on there one down there and then this one's got a few on there we've got a nice sizeable one coming up there So, 
Hopefully that one's been fertilised. Right, and then I've got this tomato. What just keeps sending out all these these ones what ain't doing anything. But basically you just have to stick, keep on top. And this is the gigantor tomatoes and you can see how much growth they're put on in a in a few days. We've had some, some nice hot weather. So if you come around yeah you can see a nice big how big they are there. So whether they're gonna get the size of a dinner plate is another story. But I have seen some people that's had some big ones. So we'll see what happens. So, so just by cutting off and cutting these off, you're putting the energy in back into the plant. Over the back there, I can see a few, few cucumbers over the back. So those I have to keep an eye on because once cucumbers start, they grow pretty fast. I mean, we've had a few off of this middle one, so. But I think they're more of a gherkin, but once you peel them, they've got a nice sweet flavour to them. Right. Next job, job I've got, I'll be back with you in a minute. Right, so I've got my other... Okay. I've got three more buckets of potatoes. This one was the last one that I planted but I think it's um, ready now and I've got those two which drying down you saw me harvest two buckets already so I'm just gonna see if there's anything in these ones as you know these was the ones that was putting on all the growth you can see it's still putting on growth and it's really green. Trying to tidy that up yet. So let me see if there's any potatoes in this one. You can see some so I think this one was planted in compost and and sawdust, if I remember rightly. So, so let's see if we've got any potatoes in here. Right, we've got some. Um, although they're grown out, we've got some this time, so give thanks for that. This dirt back in here. So I know some some people will be disappointed. I've only seen a few potatoes, but I'm not one of them. Whatever you get is what's meant to grow. That's how I see it. If you've planted something and it doesn't grow, then it doesn't grow. And a lot of people moan and complain and you know, but in everything what you get in life give thanks. 
we only can just plant plant our things out and like I was saying for the past few years I've been planting some up potatoes and I said this is the last time if I don't get any but like this year they've decided to give me a few so I'm grateful for that I think I've put in five seed potatoes in each I think it was three in this one if I remember rightly so I'm happy with that This was planted in um, compost and sawdust. <clears throat> so like I said, some potatoes is better than none. So I'm happy with, with that result. You can see the sawdust is... I mean with, with potatoes you can plant them in almost anything and, and you know you don't have to worry too much about what you plant them in as long as you, you've got some nice loose dirt in there And you're, then you're more or less good to go. So that's what I got back from three potatoes. It's not a lot, but I'm happy with that, nevertheless. So I'm going to put this dirt back in. Not think there's any more in there. to save my back so this one was the one where I put it um, all those little ones in what I found I could let this one go on a bit but I just want to just get all the potatoes out of the way they're constantly just in my way all the time these are some little I think they were shop brought potatoes what? judging by the lightness of this bucket I'm not very Hopefully what we'll see if there's any in there or not. That was just a snail. I'm going to suffer for this later. What can you do? No, I need to put them in. So this. This, I don't know how many potatoes went in here, but there was a lot. <laughs> As you can see, I think the potatoes what I put it in were about as small as that. But these, I don't mind. in a mixture of everything um, so I just want to see everything I mean uh, maybe if I left these a little bit longer they would have got a bit bigger but that's how it goes sometimes I'm 
just little, little biddy tomato potatoes. These would have been a, a red and white one, so. Although these are small, I'm still happy with them because they were going to get chucked away anyway, so. I think these were Charlotte's, if I remember rightly, and, and a, a red one, what I found. So. They're small, but I'm, but, uh, you know, to get any at all is, is a bonus. There's not a lot, but you wash those and, and roast them and then you've got a nice little meal there. So I think that's about it, what's in there. These were just little tiny ones, so we'll work, we'll work with them. Just doing this, we'll be using my hands, but I'm just trying to save my back a bit. I always see these things, I don't never know what they are, if they're caterpillar or what. So we've just got a few tiddlers out of that one. It's all good. Right, I'll be back with you in a minute. This is one of the ones that grow extra tall. And they're drying down already, so see if there's anything in there, that's how that one looks. So this is a 40 litre bucket, there was five potatoes in there. And straight away I can see that these ones are a lot bigger. trying to save my back a bit. That's the seed potato. So I did something right this this time. So we got actually got potatoes this time. I thought like with all that that grow you wouldn't see anything in there but few in there so happy with that it's not a lot these ones are a bit bigger but I'm happy still right, so we've got some some in there at least You know, bending this low, I might not be able to get back up. It's got to be done, so... Right, so we've got potatoes this year. So these little potatoes, if you leave them in there, they'll stay there till next year and then they'll come back again, so... Just have a good look and make sure you get all of them out. You might gonna get all of them but so so far we've got that much out which I'm happy with. Got one more bucket to go. Oh, I don't know if my back will hold out. Let's 
so I've got one more to do. I don't think I don't have to go back to them. Right, I'll be back with you in a second. I'm just going to rest my back a bit. Right, so this is uh, one that grew the, grew the tallest. So, and we'll see if we've got anything in this one. You can see tall, you can see how tall that was. This is a 40 litre bucket. a few so we're quite lucky this year I'm sure I planted a bucket of red ones but they all seem to be white and all seem to be the same these ones have got a little bit of red on them but for when I think I planted uh, my ones out in March Maybe if I left them out a little bit longer they would have swollen up a bit more but from what I've seen I'm, I'm happy with them. You can see the white butterflies around now so you've got to keep on top of them. Now they're ready to lay their eggs so given everything a good spray so hopefully they won't be able to lay lay any eggs anywhere I'm going to give everything a good spray again when I'm finished before I'm, or after I walk off so this one looks like it's got a bit Red to them, I don't know. This, this was the one where I put all the odd ones in. So far, I'm happy with what, what I've got. We don't really eat a lot of potatoes in our family, so this will last us a while. one for weighing potatoes so if you're look, looking for that I don't weigh my potatoes what you get is what you get so I would have seen that we've got about about two and a half three kilos What I harvest before, that's what I'm going to be saying, it's around about that. Right, so... I'm going to continue with this, and I'll be back with you in a sec. Right, everybody, so I've done all the potatoes. So this is, a, is my potato harvest for this year. Along with the one in the previous video you saw me do two buckets and i got some out of that so we actually got potatoes this year whether i could have left them in a bit longer i don't know and they all seem to be the same variety although i planted different ones but they all look the same to me so that's the potato harvest gonna leave them let them dry you saw me pick some my broccoli and I've got some more cool jets and my tomatoes down the bottom so I've got this this one to do 
As you can see they just grow at uh, astronomical rate once they get going. So if you like this video please remember to like, share and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell another friend about our channel. Remember the offer that we've made if you've got a small garden and it's coming along nicely or you do a container garden and you want to film it film it and contact us and let us know we'll look at the quality of it and if it's up to the standard then we'll feature it in one of our upcoming videos and hopefully from there you can see your garden shared with the rest of the community so thank you for watching this one like share subscribe and hit the notification bell so that when we do other videos you can see see them and get them at the same time and all i want to say to you is happy gardening to all of you and i'll see you all on the next one thank you